Have a look at the picture. The collar is draped. I know that is hardly seen here. This is Armani jacket. I don't know why it's so dark in the printed picture. You can also see the picture of it on the screen. This is the sketch we made on the basis of this picture. Have a close look at it. The side details instead of the side seams. The back is pretty simple. The left front detail is simple. And there will be draping on the waistline in the right detail. As I've already said, there will also be draping in the collar. Such colors are very beautiful. I want to show you how to make them. I will also show you how to make draping on the waist. Let's start working. This is Ira's basic pattern. I'll be working with it. These are the front and the back. I'm going to show you the making of this pattern very thoroughly. We've decided that it's better to wear this jacket with the top underneath. This is why I'm going to make a pretty deep neckline, about 20 cm deep down from the neck base. I want to do it in order for the collar to be more beautiful. You do not necessarily have to make the neckline that deep. First, I need to measure and mark 20 cm down from the neck base on the center front. I'll also make the neckline 1.5 cm wider. I need to add about 9 cm wide extension for the wrap over. This is the center front. I'll sign it. I want to add 9 cm here. Next, I want to draw the neckline. There will be a waistband here, so the neckline should start from this point. I remind you that this is the waistline. This angle should be round. I'll start drawing it a bit under the waistline. I'll outline the neckline with a blue marker pen. I don't like this marker pen. I'm going to use a different one. I think that the purple one would be better. There will be a waistband inserted here. In my case, this detail is 5 cm wide. You can make it as wide as you want. This is the front neckline. I'll also make the back neckline 1.5 cm wider and 1 cm deeper. Next, I need to make the armhole about 1.5 cm deeper and the shoulders 5 mm wider. I know Ira's body well, so I know which type of the armholes is better for her. I want to make the armhole more of a jacket style. I've already showed you how to change the armholes. There is nothing new here. It's very important for the armhole to be of the perfect shape. Notice that even though I've made it a bit deeper, I haven't changed its shape much. This is very important. I've made the needed changes in the armhole. I've also drawn the front neckline. 
I've added 9 cm here for the draping to be on the side, not on the center front. Be very attentive. Next, I need to draw the side details instead of the side seams. Due to the fact that the right and the left details of the front are different, I need to make two different patterns for them. Anyway, first I'm going to make the side details instead of the side seams. I remind you that the side details should be drawn within the width of the armhole. This is how much wider the details should be made. I'll move the opening here. The second half of the opening will be moved here. How big is the total sum of the tux opening? 3 cm? 3 cm? 2 cm? I can't move this opening to the side detail. I can't get rid of the waist tuck on the back. I'll make 2.5 cm wide opening here, 1.25 cm on each side. Have a close look at what I'm doing. The line should be slightly round at the top, they shouldn't be straight. When I finish drawing, I'll outline the needed details with a marker pen. I remind you that the details should be made a bit wider down from the waist. The same thing here. Do not forget that both the front, the back and the side details should be made a bit wider at the bottom. I need to outline the side detail next. I want to use a different marker pen to outline the back. I'm not going to change the center back. I also need to outline the front. We've done the very first things which have to be done. These are the front, the back and the side detail. I'm going to cut the pattern next. There is no collar or draping here yet. I can move the basic pattern aside, I'm not going to use it anymore. Let's continue working. Have a close look at the lines in the armhole. They are very beautiful. Such lines are a feature of the stylish high-quality garments. I'm cutting the back. I remind you that I'm going to make a waist tuck on the back. I'll just make it a bit tighter.
This is how the back pattern looks like now. This is the side seam. It's going to be cut this way. Next, I need to cut the side detail. The back is ready. It's not going to be changed. This is how it is going to look like. The side detail isn't going to be changed either. The front is the detail which should be changed. These are the back and the side details. I'm cutting the front. I'm not going to move the dot now. I'm going to cut the second front detail of the camera. When it's done, we'll continue working. As I've already said, the right and the left details in the front will be different. I've moved the back and the side details aside. I'll be working with the front now. These are the two even front details. The jacket is going to be fastened right over left. I'll sign the details. Do not forget to do it. This is the right detail, the face side. This is the left detail, the face side. The chest dot and the left detail should be moved to the side. It amazes me to watch the way the basic pattern changes. This is the pattern for the left front detail. I can move it aside. The color in the right and the left details will be absolutely even, so I'm going to make it in the right detail. These are the left front detail, the side detail and the back detail. They can be moved aside. I'll be working with the right front detail now. When I first looked at the sketch and saw the seam on the base, I decided that it wasn't necessary to make it. I wanted to get rid of it. When I started working on the pattern, I realized that if I don't make it, all the details will be cut on the bias. If I did it, it would have been almost impossible to work with them. The seam should be made here in order for us to be able to make accurate draping. The main parts of the lower and the upper front details will be cut on the grain. This is very important. I'm going to show you how to make a pattern for the color. Please be very attentive. First, I need to outline the front neckline. The color is going to be inserted here. Next, I need to use a ruler to draw a line connecting the upper and the lower points. If I was making a regular collar with no draping, I would have just mirrored this line. I'm making a pattern for a collar with a draping, so I need to draw it here first. When it's ready, I'll mirror the line. This is the beginning of the color. I'll sign it. This is the point I'm talking about. Please, be very attentive. This is the beginning of the color, and this is the shoulder. I remind you that this is the front neckline. I can start drawing the color now. Now 
You can make a color of any shape you want. This is the shoulder seam. Вот я нарисовала наш воротник. This is how the color is going to look like. Next, I need to draw a part with the fold. Very nice. This is how the color is going to look like. There will be a fold here. The angles will be round. Next, I need to trace the drawn color to a piece of paper and draw it on the other side. I want you to understand that you can draw this fold wherever you want. The fact that in my pattern the fold is here doesn't mean that it has to be here in your patterns as well. I want the detail to look this way. This part will be 2.5 cm wide. You'll understand what I'm talking about. This is how the fold is going to look like in my case. You can change it however you want. Next, I need to put the pattern in such way that it mirrors the original one. Make sure that the shoulders match. Here is the shoulder seam. The front neckline should be made longer. Watch the way I'm doing it. Make this part about 10 cm long. It's more than needed, but it's absolutely okay. It should be done in order for us to be able to insert the collar in the back neckline. This angle should be straight. I'll also make the detail about 8 cm wide here. This is the center back. I'll sign it. I made the collar long enough for it to be inserted in the back neckline. When I finish cutting, I'll show you everything once again. I had outlined the center back and then drew the collar the way I wanted it to look like. I made it 9 cm wide here on the shoulder. This part is 13.5 cm long. This part will be kind of draped. The width of this detail is 2.5 cm wide. И вот здесь я взяла 2 и 5. Вот просто взяла вот так 2 и 5. I want you to understand that you can make any color you want. Make it of any width and length you like. The most important thing is that you need to know how to make this part. How to make a fold in the color. This is what I'm going to show you next. I remind you that this part of the color will be inserted in the back neckline. I'll sign it. 
Плюс ко всему, смотрите сейчас внимательно, мы построили... This is the detail that I'm talking about. Краску. This is the center back. Next, I need to measure and mark 2.5 cm up from the shoulder. This is the point where the fold should start. You'll understand what I'm doing. You can draw this point lower. I want the fold to start on the back. These points should be connected with the dashed line. This is how the detail with the draping is going to look like. I'll shade it. This is how it looks like now. Next, I'm going to make an additional pattern for this detail. Here it is. What I'm doing now reminds me of origami. I'm going to attach two sash details here and then open them. This is the first detail. I'll mark the front neckline in it. I'm going to cut the second detail next. It is going to look this way. Откуда начинается первый? Сейчас я вырежу, вам покажу. Sometimes, when I show you the pattern making, I think that the designs are too complicated for you. I sometimes forget how talented you are. I'm sure that you managed to make such patterns. These are the two details. They should be attached here and then open. Have a look here. Have a close look at these details. I know that it's not clear for you what to do with them yet. I'll show you everything. When a pattern for the call is ready, I'll trace it to a piece of the tracing paper. This is the first detail, the bigger one. This is the second, the smaller one. It should be inserted here. This is the original color detail. Have a close look at it. For the collar to look like it does in the sketch, I should make a pattern with the fold in it. This is the neckline. 
Have a close look at these details once again. This is the first triangular detail, and this is the second one. This is how the pattern for the color should look like. I'm going to stick the details with the duct tape. This is the detail which was made of the two triangular ones. Be very attentive. Here's the first angle. And here's the second one. When I fold the detail, the color looks just like in the sketch. The fold will be very beautiful. The pattern for the color is ready. The best thing about it is that there is no need to do anything else. When the call is inserted in the neckline, the fold will look just like it is supposed to. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's make a new pattern. I need to trace this one to a piece of paper. This is the front neckline. This is the back neckline. Make sure that this detail is not too small. If you don't make it long enough, you won't be able to insert it in the back neckline. This is the outer edge of the collar. This is also the outer edge of the collar. Now you know that it's not hard to make such colors. They will be very beautiful. The pattern doesn't seem complicated for you anymore, because you know how to make it. This is the center back. This is the front neckline, the back neckline, this is the center back, I'll sign it. Here's the draping. I need to fold these two details. The pattern for the collar is ready. I remind you that you can make a collar of any shape you want. You can also make the fold of any shape you want. The most important thing is that now you know how to do it. I like the way the collar is going to look like. Next, I need to make a draping on the front. I remind you that the left front detail shouldn't be changed. I've made the side details instead of the side seams. That's enough. Let's have a look at the right front detail. There will be draping in it. The first thing I need to do is to move the opening of the chest dart to the draping. I need to make a cut from the center front to the dart top. This is where the chest dart is now. Next, I need to cut the waistline. This is the upper front detail, and this is the lower front detail. What should I do next? First, I need to move the opening on the waist tuck here. I'm going to stick the opening with the duct tape. Next, I need to make a cut in the lower front detail. It should go from the center front to the end of the waist tuck. Have a close look here. I started cutting a bit below the waistline. The original opening should be closed. I've moved both the chest and the waist tucks to the center front. I 
this opening is bigger than the lower one because there were the two openings moved here. In order for me to be able to make draping here, I need to close these openings. You might think that the techniques are too complicated, but they are actually not. You just need to understand what you are doing. I remind you that both the chest dart and the waist tuck openings were moved here in the upper front detail. This is the opening of the waist tuck. I'll outline it. Let's have a look at the sketch once again. I remind you that there will be draping on the waist. The center front should always be cut on the grain. This is a must. This is where the center front is in the lower front detail. It should be cut on the grain. I haven't added any extension for the draping yet, just the opening from the tucks. Whether to make more openings or not depends on how wide you want the draping to be. I want to make a couple of more openings here. Be very attentive. What I'm doing now is just a matter of the design choice, whether you want the draping to be white or not. I'll open the cuts this way. This is the lengthwise grain. This is the lengthwise grain as well. This part will be cut on the grain, and this not. How will I know how to drape the details? I'll drape them according to the size of the left front detail. When the waist seam is stitched, we'll see how the details should be draped. This is how the front looks like now. This is the lower front detail. Here's the green in it. This is the upper front detail. Here is a grain in it as well. The pattern is ready. The collar is ready. The draping is ready. The pattern is pretty complicated, but I showed you its making very thoroughly. Have a look at the sketch once again. There are the side details instead of the side seams here. I remind you that the right and the left details of the back will be even, and the front details asymmetric. This is the left front detail. Notice that I've put the pattern on the fabric face up. The fabric is also laid on the table face up. These details were also put on the fabric face up. It should be done this way, because the front is asymmetric. These are the two parts of the right front detail. There will be a seam here on the waist. I've already made the openings for the draping. I remind you that I've moved the opening of the chest dart here. This part is going to be stitched. Imagine how the draping is going to look like. This is the waistline. This is also the waistline. This is the seam I'm talking about. There will be also a pretty complicated collar in the jacket. I need to cut the front first. When it's done, I'll move on to cutting the side details, the back and the collar.
This is the upper part of the right front detail. This is the lower part of the right front detail. I'm making a mock-up of the modeling fabric. The waistlines in the details should match. Do not forget to check if they do. I'm going to cut the left front detail next. We need to be very attentive when working with the asymmetric details. Do not forget to mark the right and the wrong sides in the details. Do not forget to make notches on the center front and the bold details. They should match as well. Here's the center front. These are the left and the right front details. I can move them aside. When I cut the other details, I'll start taking the jacket. I folded the fabric in such way that the face side is inside the detail. These are the back and the side details. I want to turn the details for the paper not to shrink. As I've already said, these are the back and the side details. I also need to cut the two details for the color. This is how it's going to look like. Very nice. I usually cut the center back on the green when cutting the colors. I've decided not to do it in this case. It would be much more convenient for me to stitch the color if this part is cut at least close to the green. I can start cutting now. I remind you that I'm cutting the two layers of fabric at once. These are the back the side, the collar, and the front details. I'm going to ask one of the tailors of my fashion house to take the back and the side details off the camera. The collar can be moved aside. I'm going to cut the front details first. Do not move the left front detail aside. I remind you that I'll make the draping in the right detail according to the left one. Asymmetry has its own advantages. I remind you that I'm making a mock-up for Ira. If she decides to make such a jacket, she'll be able to make it on the basis of the mock-up. This is the center front. I need to mark it in the fabric as well. I'm using a pencil because this is just the modeling fabric. Next, I need to tack the waistline in order to attach the upper and the lower details of the front to each other.
The most important thing is that I'm showing you most of the sewing techniques needed for making such jackets. Even though the right and the left front details are different, the size seams in them should be even after being stitched. Anyway, I remind you that there will be the draping in the right detail. I'm taking the seam from the right side for it to be stronger. Do not forget to mark the bust top in the details. It should be done in advance. The first fold should be made here and end right in the bust top. Just imagine how beautiful the draping is going to be. Don't try to make these edge straight when making the draping. You'll just cut the extra pieces later. It's absolutely okay. Wow, the draping looks very beautiful. As I've already said, these edge is going to be made straight later. Notice that the direction of the shoulder hasn't been changed. These parts should be altered a bit. I'll make one more pleat here. You know what I find myself thinking about? I've promised to show you more complicated designs and techniques, and I'm keeping my promise. I'll make this edge more straight. Next, I need to trace the darts to the wrong side. Oh my, the jacket is going to be so beautiful. As I've already said, I need to trace the darts to the other side. To do that, I need to pin the pattern here. Ira is going to look absolutely gorgeous in this jacket, even though it's just a mock-up. Perfect. Next, I need to take the darts. When it's done, I'll check if the front details are even. I'm taking the dart. I also need to take the waist tuck.
I remind you that it's written here that the center front should be cut on the grain. It's placed right on the grain now. These are the right and the left front details. I've tacked most of the seams off the camera. I did it in order not to waste time. The center back, the side details, the left front detail and the right front detail. This is how the jacket looks like now. Notice that it's a bit wider on the hips. Next, I need to tuck the shoulders. When I finish taking the jacket, Ira will try it on. I remind you that this is just a mock-up. I'll also tuck the collar. This is how the jacket looks like now. Next, I need to tuck the collar. Notice that there is an angle here. It's okay, don't pay attention to it. Tuck the collar in such a way that the seam is hidden under the collar on the right side. Pin the center back on the collar to the center back in the garment first. As I've already said, the collar should be tucked in such way that the seam is hidden under the collar on the right side. I'm taking the collar just for the fitting. Don't stretch or gather fabric when taking the collar. The collar was cut in such a way that the fold should be naturally made when the collar is attached to the garment. I've tacked the collar. This is how it looks like now. Next, Ira is going to try the jacket on. When she does it, I'll show you how the collar should look like. It's okay this way. I want you to have a look at the collar. I need to make it accurate on the back first. When it's done, there will be made folds on the front. Wow, it's very beautiful.
If you cut and tack the color accurately, it will look amazing. This is how the jacket looks like now. We haven't changed anything off the camera. I showed you how to make a pattern for this jacket, how to cut and take it. I showed you everything very thoroughly. I want the color to be perfect. I remind you that we haven't stitched or doubled it yet. It's impossible to make it look perfect without that. Anyway, you can see that the color looks very beautiful even so. Don't make strong pleats here. The fold should be smooth and beautiful. Right, if the fabric was softer, the color would have looked even better. The mock-up is made of the pretty strong cotton fabric. Have a look here. This part can be altered a bit. I'm not going to do it on the other side, but this one can be made tighter. I remind you that the front is asymmetric. I've added a lot more for the ease to the front detail. Now you know how to make such amazing colors. There were the additional details added here. Due to this fact, these folds are very beautiful. I think that the color should be made a bit tighter. I'll cut it this way. Right, I'm going to cut your ponytail. I think that the color looks much better this way. Here's the sketch. Here are Ira and me. Good job. I did do a good job. Ira can make a jacket on the basis of this mock-up. It will be very easy for her to do it. There will be no need for her to measure or calculate anything. <laughs> Don't be afraid of the complicated designs. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. and Ira. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.